Hi there, this is Ryan Anderson. Going to talk to you today about drumming for the chakras and the chakra that I am focusing on today in particular is the heart chakra. <clears throat> the fourth chakra or in the Hindu term it is known as Anahata which has two translations. Um, one means the unstruck note and the other one means the ever beating heart which uh, really is a good name for it, seeing as how it's always beating in our chest and it's giving us rhythm. So that goes into um, the concept of us being creatures of rhythm. Everything that we do uh, is in a rhythm. Uh, our daily cycles and life and the joys and sadness and emotions that we experience are in a rhythm. They're in a cycle. <clears throat> so the heart chakra is um, one of the main most powerful chakras when it comes to influencing love and compassion, uh, affection. It influences the heart and also influences emotional empowerment. It also forms a bridge between the upper three chakras and the lower three chakras. Um, so when we drum, we're activating the heart chakra and balancing the descending higher chakras against the ascending lower chakras seeing as how the Anahata is in the center of all seven. You have your heart chakra, the three down here, and the three that are up here. So when we go into um, the chakra and the energy center and its attributes, its characteristics, and what it's associated with, there are um, three brief topics that I wanted to share with you that detail what the Anahata is associated with. First and foremost for me um, is the spiritual aspect of the Anahata Chakra and uh, the characteristics of the spiritual aspect would be forgiveness, unconditional love, letting go, and trust which are very very important for us to be able to function on a daily basis it's very imperative that we have those four spiritual attributes about us to go through our daily activities. The physical dysfunctions, the second attribute of the heart chakra, uh, would be uh, heart conditions, asthma, lung and breast cancer, and pneumonia. So when we're drumming this uh, rhythm that I've come up with and want to share with you, you're wanting to focus your intention of healing the heart chakra, of aligning it with the drum rhythm that we're going to be playing. So when you set your intention and focus on the heart chakra and the rhythm, the mind is alleviating the monkey brain syndrome or the, the constant chatter that we experience every day that our mind is always going through. And when we're able to focus our intention on one specific point or one specific detail or one specific aspect that we want to change or that we want to heal, the results are very powerful. They're very, uh, they're endless, if you want to put it that way. They're very transformative. And they do bring a lot of happiness and a lot of transformation and just pure bliss. The uh, body parts that the heart chakra are associated with would be the, uh, the heart, of course, the circulatory system, the blood, your lungs, your ribs, the diaphragm, your breasts, your esophagus, your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. Uh, which is kind of ironic because you need your shoulders, your arms, and your hands to be able to play. So, let's get to the rhythm. And remember to focus on your heart chakra. It's located in the center of the chest between the two breasts. It's green in color. So when you're focusing and you're playing, just envision a green light or a green flower or a wheel in the center of your chest and keep that, keep that vision in your mind and play along with me and see if it doesn't help you on a daily basis. It's very good to try this exercise every day for five or ten minutes and focus on that one chakra and, and see what happens in your daily life, okay? So the rhythm goes like this. Of course, it's going to include a heartbeat to signify the chakra. And that also activates the lower three chakras. The lower three chakras are more associated with the low grounding tones that the drum gives off. 
And then the higher three chakras are associated with the open tones. So when you're playing that rhythm, you're combining all six chakras and fusing it in to the heart. So remember, focus your attention on healing the heart chakra. Envision that green flower beaming out of your chest and play along with it. get it cooking <clears throat> after a little bit of practice and with a lot of determination and a lot of focus you can start to make it your own you can add a little bit to it as you saw me do briefly with that pattern again it's focusing your intention on the rhythm that you're playing it's focusing your intention on the beautiful heart chakra the green flower in the chest the anahata the instrument that gives us rhythm in life every day and every night without the heart we would have nothing. So play that rhythm, try it, get used to it, focus on your heart chakra, focus on your anahata, and keep on playing and keep on drumming. Thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Anderson. Drum on.